My name is Lam Wong, and uh, I'm the local artist here in Vancouver, and also associate curator at the Canton Sardine. Uh, we are very excited and uh, fortunate to have Ivan Donovsky um, having his solo exhibition here at the Sardine. Um, Eli used to live in Vancouver, however he's been moving to New York uh, and living in Brooklyn for the last two and a half years. So this is his first solo show um, since he moved to New York and now uh, he's extremely happy about that. Um, so the first, um, this exhibition is based on Eli's abstraction uh, painting. Um, this is six paintings um, that we brought in from New York that um, he used egg tempura as his medium. Um, since Eli is also an icon painter, um, he liked to adopt the, uh, the ritualistic and also the sacredness of the medium on his abstract painting, which is a lot of based on uh, mathematic calculations um, of the form, the shape, um, to create a pattern. Um, and then when he goes into the painting, he try not to reference to anything. It's just have everything open and, and focus on the act of the painting and the experience. And in that sense, it's very meditative uh, to him. Uh, he doesn't use any stencils or any um, to to do the shapes. He basically just kind of outlining and transfer the design from computer program that he's using uh, to a, a, a body bridge pattern. Surface of the egg tempura is very sensitive, um, so can really use the traditional canvas if it breaks very easy and it's heavy. So these paintings are very heavy, and uh, the frame was used the, um, the gold gilding um, to represent that side of the mysticism and sacredness that the uh, is was very focused. Um, there's another highlight of the show is this modular. Um, drawings, tabletop drawings that uh, I, I imagine he's using very different sources um, of the little items that, um, for paintings and then he's having a lot of fun putting this together there's a lot of details with a lot of the shape and colors um, so this is um, before it was installed in the gallery um, he was like placing in his studio at home uh, for various different incarnation and shapes and formations. So um, yeah, we're very happy to have this in here in Vancouver as well. Um, this is the first painting that you see from the show, and it's the basic form of the square with different colors. And uh, I'm going to give to Eli. This is the key to the variations of different paintings in the show uh, because. Um, when we calculate, when he calculated the, um, the shape and um, for the composition of the painting, it always started with a square and based on particular sets of mathematic uh, numbers and um, the computer creating the different uh, shape uh, for the composition. And um, this he linked it to the idea from Pierre Mongeon's, like uh, during Mongeon's time, there was a computer. So he was using this color tape to form the composition. And um, so there was a high contrast between the very traditional medium of the tempers and using um, the computer um, to form the artwork. And um, he sometimes he asked about what Mongeon's would do if he has a computer for his, for his painting. And, uh, so in that sense, it relies very much the lineage of the, the Mongean um, abstraction um, uh, style, uh, but uh, added his own ritualistic um, mysticism behind it as well, and his own religious um, philosophy. Um, so I think that is also shown in some of his uh, abstraction paintings. So in Eli's um, painting, 
He used the ancient medium of acting prayer. It is the materials of a religious painting through the medieval and Renaissance period. The sacred aspect of this medium's history is emphasized by the artist's recent practice of the Russian Orthodox icon writing at the Holy Cross Monastery in New York. This religious tones of the painting come in the contrast of the conceptual methods and abstract appearance of the work. Here the paintings weave together elements of science, formalism, and phenomenology with spirituality, contemplation, and prayer. And to Eli, I think it's a very much a religious, mystical experience weaving together with his painting practice.